Welcome to I've Had Worse, and today I'm reviewing Bellhaven's 80 shilling beer. It's only taken me four takes to get that out. So I saw this in a supermarket, and it was one of the budget supermarkets. I want to say it was a BM stores, and then I couldn't find it anywhere. Um, it's on the Green King or Greeny King's website, and this one came in a beer box, a Green King beer box which was £8.50 from Tesco's. So I suspect Greeny King own this particular beer or they own a majority share in Bellhaven's Brewery. If you know, put it in the comments below because as you know, I am well researched as ever. Um, so the 80 shilling refers to the old Scottish um, pricing for a cask the 80 shilling cask which apparently was the top shelf um you know the best beer all the good ingredients it does say a little bit more on the back of the bottle but there are tasting notes so i'm trying not to okay the only thing it says on the neck is that uh continues that long tradition this uh range of specialty beers each with its own unique style and taste uh and together they represent the very best of Scottish brewing. So why is it in a clear bottle? Well, that could be Greeny King's influence. They do like their clear bottles, and as we know, with a clear bottle, you often get light strike and skunking. So, what does this taste like? Not a shadow of its former self, I'm guessing, but what does it taste like? So this is the uh, 3.9, 500 mil. Let's get it on and see what we're getting. I dare say there is many a Scotsman out there rolling his eyes at the association of Greeny King's Brewery with a traditional Scottish ale. So the first thing is really effervescent fizziness, sort of almost lager-esque. That head is not going to stay around and will be as flat as a pancake in about two seconds. Okay. So we have a, I mean, you could see it in the bottle, but we have a traditional chestnut style mm -hmm. beer. Yeah. Okay. Fluffy head. I mean, it was really effervescing there. So, you know, not a traditional head, but it's almost dissipated, but it is there. Quite a coppery element to it. Metallic. That copper on the nose, shades of uh, Vellinvoil oh, yeah. and uh, Burton uh, Tower Brewery. There, a couple of their beers are quite coppery on the nose. So traditional. Yeah, I mean no skunking, which I'm really pleased. But is that because it was kept in a box though? As if I'm lucky, bottled. yeah, yeah, it could be, yeah, because it was a, you know, it was packaged uh, and then on the supermarket shelf away from the light. But just clear bottles. Okay, yeah, look at that head. Gone. Okay, let's give this a taste. That's not a bad mouthfeel. And there is quite a full flavour. I mean, this is at room temperature. He says, I don't always touch it with the back of my hand then, but room temperature. That mouthfeel is almost there. Second go was a little bit thinner, but... And the flavours are there, but they're really subtle. Let's give it a good go. It's a gentle malt. Gentle bitterness. Bits of caramel, bits of biscuit. Not a bad, you know, if that mouthfeel was a little bit thicker, I would say this is a pretty good trad ale. That it does have a really odd effervescence. Fizzing on the tongue, and not something you normally associate with a, a traditional ale, but something I do associate with Greeny King. Okay, right then, shall we go in and see what we're supposed to be getting? With three local malts and two hop varieties, creating rich copper colour beer, yes, 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 
malty toffee and soft fruit. <laughs> I mean, there's a little bit of sweetness on the back, but I wouldn't call it fruity. It's not like drinking a Dundee cake. And I'm not getting much of the toffee. It's not bad. If that mouthfeel was just a little bit better and the um, effervescence, that, that, that carbonation that's there wasn't, <laughs> um, this would be really respectable. And I'd like it in a brown bottle, please. They ought to be a national campaign. Okay. Right then, I'm quite impressed with that, uh, but I suspect it is a shadow of its former self. Okay, if you've tried it, did you likey, did you know likey? If you tried it in its original, not Greeny King incarnation, let me know. Not bad, but I would say if it comes part of a box, it's going to be half decent because sealed from the light if you buy it on a supermarket shelf you pay your money you take your chance you might get some light strike okay i am waffling i'm going to contemplate my decision and enjoy the rest of this cheers <laughs>